Hello everyone and welcome, I am Trap Dragon and Prehistoric Kingdom is finally here, it is about time, I've waited so long for this game. Now, little heads up right now, this is a speed build, only for the first part of the video. Because I had no idea how to start this, because you have your arrival point and right now I'm putting in the hatchery basically. C gonna clear all the trees, but I just had no idea how to start this. So all I really build here is like a little guest area and that, nothing really important because I'm mainly going to showcase some of the dinosaurs. Today we've got one species, you'll find that out if you stick around later. But I'm going to shut up, I'm going to just let you watch this and I'll be back in a couple of minutes with our first dinosaur. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more Prehistoric Kingdom, please let me know because I am really down to do this. I, this game's really good. So I'll leave you all be. That is all that I have built so far, as you can probably see, I'm still kind of struggling with the controls a bit. Oh, the game's going to take a lot of time for me to work on. I don't know if we'll do a full park build yet, but we'll do this one anyway. So the reason why I stopped, what we're going to do about, what we're going to build now, yeah, words are hard today. Uh, yeah, I was on the right thing. We're going to build our first enclosure. No, I'm going to, hmm. Yeah, screw it. We'll have it lead right off of here. Now, I if I didn't mention it already, because uh, obviously I've recorded this bit after the speed build. I haven't done the speed build audio yet, so uh, hopefully I rem if I didn't remember to say it. Uh, I did complete the tutorial. That is the only thing I did complete. And even though there's glass here for some reason, uh, when I did the tutorial, I still had to put a fence there anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the glass, this glass, over that glass. Because that makes perfect sense as the angle. Yep, I like my angle snap. Okay, and then this should just fit. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'll just eyeball it. Okay, that works for me. I don't actually, hold on, let's pick what dinosaur or mammal we're gonna have in here. Let's pick. Hmm. I would love to do the T-Rex, because it's my favorite dinosaur, but I don't know. Is that one, yeah, that one's smaller. Butar. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex, black ones, tur that's, oh, that's Turbosaurus, that's why, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Six and a half hours later. We'll do this little good. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Psticocorosaurus, I have no idea how you say that, but uh, which one? We'll do a mixture of all of them, but I want this one. I want, let's get three male versions. Let's get two female versions and two male versions of you. Three female, two male, and we'll get all, and we'll get the rest of them. Now, also, we are playing on like sandbox. I don't have like a, a lot of the day. I have basically like all the dinosaur welfare. I'm pretty sure turned off, just because I'm testing stuff. Then, like, it's going to be a this game is going to be a very tough learning curve for me. Uh, what fence do I want? Do I want that one? I kind of like that one. I didn't mean to favourite that. Uh, let's try and pick a fence here. Honestly, yeah, we'll go with this one. I like this one for these little guys. So that should just, yep, join on right there. Can I bring my angle snap back? Yeah. Actually, I'm better going this way because of that path. Unless I can, I can take this right out to the path. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, I need to make it the same size. I think it was six. No, it must be five. I don't give a flattened all the terrain, but the terrain kind of looks like it's not flat. It's, I find that really annoying. Like, yeah, because I mean, like, look at that, like, the bit of grass there. This is flat, I don't get it. I also don't know, how do I stop this, the grass coming through? Is there a way to stop it? Because even when you go in here, it doesn't, it doesn't let me click on that. So I don't know how to, how to get rid of that. Okay, back onto the fence, back onto the, the, the important part. So if I can pull this, like, right out to here. path must not be straight because when it's angled the fence wasn't. I'm just gonna go with a kind of boxy shape. Uh, I do like playing with the curves but when I did do it on like creative mode I don't really like the curves that much but let's go we'll put a curve in here. Uh, I really need to get used to these controls. It's definitely going to be a, a tough learning curve for me. You can probably hear my mouse clicking away. I wish you could change the controls for the mouse. That's like the one thing I want to change about this game. I hate the mouse controls. I really hate it. Okay, we'll get rid of this water first. Get rid of all this water. Oh no. Ah, <sighs> yeah, of course. Oh, but deleting one bit seems to fix it, God damn it! It should just pop up by itself. I know, early access game, like, I'm going to say right now, the game is early access on Steam, but if you want to play it, you can. Why does that... Why does that look different? Is it just the lighting? Yeah, it's just the lighting. It just looks... Yeah, it looks really different there. Okay, we'll get some water in. Not deep at all. A little bit deep, actually. Yeah, not deep at all. Make it nice and small. And we're just gonna put. Why is it not letting me? Let's just put like a little river through it. Yeah. Now we'll select all and. Let's just get placing our little guys. Uh, can I close your? Can I get a nice little look? Now this little El Nigel is a Cetacosaurus. Cetacosaurus, right? As he said, we're able to restore this creature to a high degree of genetic accuracy, right down to the quills and coloration of some one. of its species. 
I think this one's beautiful. Where's the where's the really crazy looking one? Where where are you? Yeah, these these ones look crazy. <laughs> I like them though, they look crazy though. Right, so I do actually your welfare's really low. Oh yeah, I do have like an yeah I don't care about the overcrowding. Nature, so you like wetland and coastal. Let's go let's go coastal then. Now the cool thing with this is you can like let's just like up the density. I'll put this up max just to show you. So we can select all and you get that. Or you can just say you don't want any of the big trees, you just want the kind of little shrubber shrubbery. They're kinda of still trees. Oh that's good. So you can manually pick what the hell you want in your enclosure. I think that is really sick. Now we will get some trees in here, but I just wanna let's just put like all oh, these little bushes around the water. And uh, now I do want some of those big old trees. Okay, that is way too thick. A uh, low density then. Damn it, I just selected everything. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like how these trees are looking. I know I'll do it. I'll do what I usually did on the challenge mode one, as I just select all and put the density like really low. Yeah, I'll put just a smidge. Yeah, that's nice. Like, kind of forest it. Can I get a little bit more? They're about unhappy with it though. So simple. We go in and we just. Just like other ceratopsians, Cytocosaurus is a herbivore. Cytocosaurus is a ceratopsian. Simple jaws are better suited to tough plant material such as nuts or seed. A word of advice though, be wary of that beak, they're a little nippy. Yeah, so they've got these big old trees around them. I did not know, like I know that in the game they're in the same selection, but I did not know you were a Ceratopsian little dude. Mondor. Sounds like something like Lord of the Rings. I know that's Mordor, but... Oh, they look so cute, I really do like them. Uh, they need food, they need food, they need food. Do these guys like termites? I wonder. There's your veggies. We also need to put in the dung beetles, because that is how we deal with the poop. Which I don't know if I've got turned on, like... I just went into like sandbox and mess with a few things, so I don't know what I have on and what I don't. I definitely have hunger on, but do you guys... Hold on, if I go... Bum bum, click on you... Uh, yes, they're like insects. Okay, so we can get some termite mine, uh, mines, mounds. Where are you? There we are. Um, let's get one here. And let's put like a little termite cluster like over here. Yeah. I know that is way too many, but they've got a nice little termite cluster as well as they can has some of their vegetables. Are you gonna go and eat? I think you should. Now even though they've got overcrowding, like their habitat is still in the middle. So they're kinda, they're happy. They need more for enrich. I give you, oh you need, you want a frozen block. I will give you a frozen block then. And you go just munch away buddy. Where should we bang a frozen block? Uh, well there's not really anything over here so ba-bam, ba-bam, there's two. I hate how they're like almost cement. We'll just have one then. Can I like make this? I know you can make things bigger, like you can scale things up, but I don't know how you do it. Is time advancing? Time should not be advancing. No, it's not. It's just the weather. Now, we need another little thing for viewing here, so we go back into the guest facilities. But they're all kind of gigantic. Do 
honest, this is all the guests can get. You can get this. You want to view these guys boohoo. That's all I'm giving you. But what I do need to get the dinosaurs is they need a bit. They need a little home. Now, do we go with a little kind of stables thing? Or do I give them a cave? I think they would like a little cave. Right, we'll do both then. I'll give them a little kind of stables thing that they can hide in. Well, they can live in, but then I'll also give them a cave. So we'll put this like kind of at the side. So the visitors can actually get a nice close look at them when they're like snoozing. And then we will put a little secret cave in the back. So they can they can have a little cozy hidden spot. Do I need to like raise this up a bit? Yeah, let's get the... I would go with that cave, but it's gigantic. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, I can. I, we can hide this. Just sink it down a little. Twist it slightly, and boom! Did one of them? Did one of them, I actually want to see something. If I put you in here, can you get out? And what is? I don't know why your habitat needs so low. Well, the fact they can actually get out means they actually might use it, which is good. So yeah, they got a little cave they can hide in, but they've also got a little Just bed. Just looking at its face, you might not realise that this was one of the first Ceratopsians. It may lack really? frill and forward projecting horns, but you can still see the resemblance in its strong beak and its cheek horns. I mean, to be honest, if this was like the this along with like Protoceratops was like a very early Ceratops scene. I actually can see it. Oh, he just pooped. I actually need to clean the poop. So even though he put dung beetles in, they still kind of manage it. He's eating the ice block. Nice. But they get rid of all the dung, you come here, and ba boom Ta-da! So it says this enclosure boat. I'm very happy with it. I do like it. And we have guests, of course. We have our guests. Now, I'm just going to put the path along here because this will probably be the only exhibit I build today. Uh, if this video is shorter, I apologise because I did speed build the start. But uh, we will do more. Like, I don't think we'll do like a. This won't be like a proper park build. But I will build like some enclosures in that. Just to kind of show the game off because it's still very like, early stages. Now, for people that will be like comparing it to Evolution, I will say playing this feels nothing like playing Evolution. For one, Evolution is a finished game, so you got that. But honestly, there's so much more micromanaging you need to do in this game than you need to do in Evolution. Like, I haven't played, uh, what's it, uh, Planet Zoo. I really want to, though. I've been considering that. If you're interested in that, let me know, and maybe we'll play some Planet Zoo as well in the future. But that's what this feels more like. like I mean, I've had a lot of people compare it to that, and I just forgot we did not put in a path here. People cannot view these little guys this way. Okay. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people compare this and say it's very similar to playing Planet Zoo. And I'm like, well, I've never played Planet Zoo, but I can understand why they would say it's more like that than Evolution. Because I have seen, like, gameplay of Planet Zoo. And it does look a lot more similar to Planet Zoo. And I like the fact you can get the big-ass chunky path. And we just... If I can just get a bit I can grab onto without it causing too much goddamn issue. Probably better with a smaller path then. And shaboom. Shabang. And why is the grass coming through? I don't know because I built over it about five times there. Oh wait, I actually need to join these two so people actually walk over. Bum 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 bum. And there we go. It seems a little bit path heavy, a little bit path crazy. I'm gonna... I think I might... Uh oh. I think I still need to lower this a little smidge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so now people will be able to go in, they'll be able to view them. Oh, they're so adorable. And I'll say a lot of features still aren't in the game, like they can't break out, you can literally like I know you were sleeping little dude, I pressed the wrong button there. So like obviously we go over here, I can literally plop him here. 
and nobody cares. So like guest AI, they just kind of aimlessly wander around. I don't know what else the guests actually do. But nothing interacts with them, no carnivores cause them issue or anything like that. I could put a T-Rex in here and it'll be completely fine to be honest, like I'll even show where is our hatchery. We go over here, well nursery. And let's just grab, let's just grab a big ass acro. Yep, let's get an acro, let's speed up time just so it comes faster, thank you. Select animal. And this acro will not, will just wander around here. Acro Canthosaurus. The high spined lizard. And I love acros. And a good one at that. I really do. Acros are one of my favorites. Jaw, sports 19 razor sharp teeth. But I don't recommend getting close enough to count them all. But yeah, I love Acro. Acros are amazing. I really wish the evolutions of Acro looked like an Acro, not a Fat Rex. But yeah, look, no one cares. So, I mean, a lot of things aren't in the game, so the dinosaurs just kind of wander around. They drink, they eat, they poop. And they do, like, make, like, like they actually do have, like, good, like, animations and stuff, but they don't, like, attack or fight or react to a lot of stuff. Bye-bye, Acro. And that's also how you get rid of a dinosaur, just that little termination button. Hmm. Well, I think, I'm trying to think, uh, I hate how that looks. I think I'm going to change that. I'll probably do it more in time. But yeah, so there, we got a little enclosure built. I'm going to do some more, like, I think we'll maybe, we'll do, like, a couple enclosures in the next couple of videos. I'll try and get them out nice and quick, but as again, because the game's really early, there's not really much in it. Once you kind of build and stuff, there's not really much to do. So I don't know if we'll be playing it a lot. But I will try and definitely show off some more of the creatures, some more of the dinosaurs and all that good stuff. Because we do have a lot to get through. I think what I might do next is a Smilodon enclosure. Like, I absolutely love the Smilodon. I really do. I th this one is gorgeous. Like, I love how gigantic this one is, but... This one, Fatalis, that is it, yep. Yeah. I love this one. This one's beautiful. Does it? All right. No, I thought the the meat was different there. Oh yeah, and at the moment it's not in the game. I don't think it is anyway. But you can have fish, like for the Dino Kyrus, it can't eat fish. I don't think it's actually in the game because I tried to put it down. Like, for example, if we go here. Oh, and I'll quickly show you this. If if you got a carnivore, you come in here, edit group, click on it again, and you can have like. We well, can have vegetation, you can have fruit, you can have meat, but yeah, look, fish and insects are not in the game yet, as well as like changing all this other stuff. So as I said, the game is very early, still very, very early, but it looks incredibly promising. It's a game I've waited a long time for, because I never got to do the beta or the alpha because I didn't have a PC. But anyway, hope you all have a lovely, wonderful day, and if you enjoyed this, please let me know and we'll try and get some more out quicker. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.